Hey guys, KSKRAL here, back with a new video. First of all, sorry for not posting any videos to this channel for quite some time. I was busy with some personal issues. So anyway guys, I'm back here. Today in this video, I'll be going to talk about a multi-ROM and how to install it on your Pocophone F1 or Poco F1. So this is a step-by-step -step guide. So watch the video till to the end without missing any part of the video. So let's get started. Before going into the installation part, uh, let me quickly give you a brief overview of what is multi-ROM. Did you ever try do booting your PC or laptop like installing a Windows 10 and Linux Ubuntu on the same drive and you can boot into any operating system at the time of boot? So the multi-ROM does exactly the same job, making your POCO F1 run on multiple ROMs at the same time and you can choose any ROM at a boot time. Normally when you install a custom ROM, it will replace the stock ROM, but with the help of the multi-ROM you don't need to worry about the stock ROM. So this way you can install a numerous ROM to the internal storage and boot into any ROM at the time of boot. Anyway, so let's get into the installation part. Uh, please remember that multi-ROM is an experimental build for the Pocophone F1. Follow the video carefully till to the end without missing any part of the video. And this process will completely wipe your user data. So please back up your pictures, videos and important data to the Google Drive or to your computer or laptop. Also, the prerequisites of the video, make sure your POCO F1 is having an unlocked bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, watch this video by clicking on this card from here or check the link in the description down below. Also, you need a computer running a Windows 7 or higher. That being said, and moving on to the step number one, upgrading your POCO F1 to the developer ROM. So if you're in the stable ROM, we need to update to the developer ROM first. So let me quickly show you the MIUI version, which I am running currently on my Pocophone F1. So by going into settings. So as you can see, I'm running the global stable 10.2 and the build number is at 10.2.3. So before flashing the developer ROM, I recommend it please remove all of the fingerprints the passwords, the Google accounts, the me accounts from your device. Anyway, now go ahead and download the latest version of developer ROM zip file for your Pocophone F1 from the link in the description down below and copy it to your SD card or internal storage. And also make sure that your device is having a sufficient battery juice. Then go to settings about phone and tap on the system update. Now here on the MIUI logo, I tap seven times in order to activate the additional settings. Now click on the a three dot menu from the top right corner and here you will see an option called a choose update package. Then I select that option and look it for the developer ROM and select it to flash. Remember to back up your important data so this will clean your internal storage. So anyway, once it's done, I will be right back with you guys. That's it, now you have successfully installed the developer ROM at this point on your Pocophone F1. So moving on to the step number two, installing a TWRP custom recovery. So now go to the settings uh, about phone and tap on the MIUI version for seven times in order to activate the developer settings. So once it's enabled, go back to the main page of the settings, choose additional settings, and here you will find a developer settings option. Again, so make sure that your device bootloader has unlocked. Then turn on the USB debugging and connect your phone to the PC. Now go ahead and download a, these files from the links in the description down below and place it somewhere on your desktop for easier navigation. Now copy a disabled force encryption zip file to the device. You can copy it to either internal storage or SD card. 
Now extract the platform tools which includes both ADB and fastboot commands to the current folder. So once it's done extracting, then move the TWRP image file to that extracted folder where ADB and fastboot commands are present. Now highlight the address bar and type there cmd.exe and press the enter button to invoke the command prompt from the present working directory. So when you are inside the uh, command prompt, uh, type a dir asterisk image and it will show the twrp image file from here. So now type the command called adb devices and make sure your device is connected to the PC. So when you run this command or execute this command on your phone, you will see a prompt. Just go ahead and accept the permission. Now type this command called adb space reboot space bootloader to boot your device into a fast boot mode. Alternatively, you can also boot into a fast boot mode by turning off your phone completely, then holding a power plus volume down for a few seconds will do the same job. When you are inside a fast boot mode, first thing first, type this command called a fast boot devices, ensuring that the device is still in contact with the computer. Then type this command called a fast boot of flash uh, space recovery space TWRP and press the tab key to auto complete and then press the enter key to flash the TWRP recovery. Once it's done, now type a fast boot, a boot, a TWRP again, press the tab key to auto complete and press the enter key to boot into TWRP recovery. When you're inside the TWRP recovery, the first thing you need to do is choose install zip option and look for the disable force encryption zip file, select it and flash it. So the DFE tool will prevent a MIUI from replacing a TWRP recovery with a stock recovery. So once it's done, reboot back to TWRP recovery. Now at this point, we have completed step number two and have installed a successfully a TWRP recovery on POCO F1. Now again, go to the a reboot option and this time a reboot to system. So moving on to the step number three, installing a multi-ROM. Now go ahead and download a, these two files from the links below and copy it to your device. So once it's done, now switching back to the camera view. So invoke the power menu and select the uh, reboot button. While rebooting your device, uh, keep holding the uh, volume up button until you see a TWRP logo. Now when you're inside a TWRP, the first thing go ahead, choose install zip option and look for the file called a multi-ROM zip file selected and flash it. Once it's done, again, I choose install zip option. So this time, change the install mode to image mode and choose a recovery.img and flash it as a recovery. Then head over to main menu, choose a reboot option and reboot back to recovery. Now we have successfully installed a multi-ROM on Pocophone F1. And lastly, I'm going to reboot into the system. So as you can see, the multi-ROM bootloader may appear by default. It will automatically boot into internal, so which is a MIUI 10. And the final step is called the installing multiple ROMs. So in order to set up in multiple ROMs, first make sure you copy the ROMs to the SD card that you have fancy. For now, I will be copying a Pixel ROM, Nitrogen OS, along the side with a MIUI 10. So that means I will be installing these two ROMs. So once the ROMs in Google applications are copied to a device, now reboot the device. So again, while rebooting, hold the volume up button until you boot into a TWRP multi-ROM recovery. So 
Inside the multi-ROM recovery, I mean TWRP multi-ROM recovery, click on the hamburger menu icon from the top right corner, then choose add ROM option and leave everything as a default option. So then click on a next here and leave this option as a default and select a zip file. Now I will look for a pixel ROM zip file so then I will select it and flash it. Once it's done, go back to the main menu. Again, repeat the same process in order to install a more ROMs. Uh, select a hamburger menu from here. I choose add ROM, so leave everything as a default. Select a zip option again, and this time I will choose a Nitrogen OS. So this way you can install as many ROMs as you want very easily. So once it's done, now you need to install a G apps for a Nitrogen OS. So for that, go back to the main menu, uh, then again click on hamburger menu and then click on choose a list of ROMs option. Here you can select the Nitrogen OS from here and choose install zip option and look for the G apps you copy it to the device, select it and flash it. That's it, now we have successfully installed a Pixel ROM and Nitrogen OS along the side with a MIUI 10. So each ROM has its own space. This way you can install as many ROMs as you want. So as you can see, I currently it's showing only the two ROMs, the Pixel ROM and the Nitrogen OS. The MIUI 10 cannot be displayed here because it's a master OS and noted as an internal option. So anyway, so lastly you need to do a one more thing is injecting the boot sector so that the multi-ROM bootloader can show all of the ROMs installed on your device. Now once it's done, go back to the main menu and choose a multi-ROM settings. Uh, select a auto boot tab option and here I will increase the timeout limit to 10 seconds So down here you can see all installed ROMs will be displayed So by default if you don't select any ROM within a 10 seconds the multi ROM will boot into MIUI 10 automatically So you can also select the default OS to boot from here. Anyway, I will leave it as a default to internal now go back to the main menu and choose a reboot option, so this time a reboot to the system. So now you can see a multi-ROM bootloader will be displayed from here. You can choose any ROM to boot. For a moment I will choose a pixel ROM. So as you can see, now we are inside the Pixel ROM. So just in case, if you want to delete any ROM, so reboot back to the TWRP multi-ROM recovery. So then choose a, a list of ROMs option and select the ROM that you want to delete. So that's it, it's that simple. And in future, if you see a newer version of ROM, so just flash or update the base internal to the latest developer ROM, normally like selecting install zip option. So that's it guys. So this is how you can set up a multiple ROMs on your Poco phone F1 or Poco F1. So to read an article about this, I check the link in the description down below. So just in case if anything goes wrong, you can watch that video by clicking on this card from here. If you like like this video hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified so this is ksk royal peace